Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the iFootage TC7 Gazelle with the K7 video head. This video was made possible thanks to the iFootage team. Why iFootage? Well, I have a monopod from iFootage and it has been doing a great job for about four years. So I asked iFootage about this tripod and now I want to share my opinion about it with you guys. Let's start with the body. This comes complete with a carrying case and a tool for the screws. The ball head comes separately and unfortunately comes without a back. Take good care of it because if it falls down on the concrete, scratches are guaranteed. The TC7 in the carbon version weighs 1.86 kilograms and the ball head 1.95 kilograms. This can be loaded with 7 kilograms and the tripod even up to 9 kilograms. Thanks to the compact design, the TC7 folded even fits into a simple travel case. One leg has a hand pad, which is very comfortable when carrying during winter. Let's talk about my personal impression. The video head as well as the tripod feel very stable. Nothing rattles and the buckles can be opened and closed very quickly. You are completely ready to go within 15 seconds. The feet have a separate feature. You can switch between simple pads and spikes with a few turns. Ideal for example for an ice lake or a glacier. The closure on the legs even allow you to bring the tripod close to the ground. The standard angle is 22 degrees and can be extended by closures to 55 or 77 degrees. Now to the absolute highlight, the rapid release fast bowl. Simply stunning. If the video head is not quite straight because the ground is slanted, you best turn on the digital spirit level of your camera and with a simple turn on the lower handle, the horizon can be now compensated. This handle can even be removed if necessary. A mini spirit level on the rapid release fastball serves as a quick check. You can get the video head in different versions. On the side of the quick release plate there is a scale and the included quick release plate can be easily loosened or placed on it via the drop-in quick release system. The red buckle on the side prevents accidental release. Via the large control on the side the tilt resistance can be regulated. The same applies to the rotation. The Commodore K7 logo has five numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. At 0 you have no dynamic balancing, 1 is for cameras from 1 to 2 kilograms, 2 for cameras from 2 to 4 kilograms, 3 for 4 to 6 kilograms and 4 for cameras from 6 to 7 kilograms. The swivel arm can be extended via a rotation and can be attached to both sides. I use the tripod including ball head from now on for all my video projects. Ideal for quick pens, time lapse and of course home to film products. Of course, the height is also ideal for filming over a crowd of people. I am about 5.8 feet tall for comparison. So here's my conclusion. Since I am very satisfied with my iFootage monopod for about 4 years, I thought it was time again for a new tripod. Since my channel consists of videos, a suitable video tripod may not be missing. Especially the quick setup. The rapid release fastball and the smooth pants make this combination for me the perfect companion for my videos. Ideal also for shots close to the ground thanks to the legs which can be extended to 77 degrees. For me an absolute recommendation. You can find the link to the ball head and the tripod in the video description. If you would like to support my channel, feel free to buy either the video head or the tripod via the link listed in the video description. Make sure also to follow me on Telegram and Instagram. See you very soon and thank you very much iFootage for the sponsoring. All the best, Merry Christmas and see you soon. Ciao, ciao.